Honorable viewers, I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, Department of English. Today, I would like to share with you Things for Leopard, written by Chinua Akibi. So, let's get started. Things for Leopard is a masterpiece of Chinua Akibi. Onoko is the central character. He is a brave warrior and powerful man in the village Umufia. He is a unique fighter in his village. The whole villagers admire him and he is courageous. He hates the cowards and weak-minded people. He wants a sky-kissing achievement. He does not like his father, Unoka, because of his laziness. To Oknoko, his father, Unoka, was not far-sighted and skilled. He was very lazy and coward. He was not interested in achieving success, power and pep. On the other hand, Okonko loves money, power and pep. His father did not get any title, but Okonko has got two titles. His house is full of crops. He has three wives. Every day respects everybody respects him. So he has been given a source to look after an ill fated boy named Ikmefona. The boy has been saying to Okonko for avoiding bloody struggle between two villages, Umofia and Imbenia. Imbaino. One day a girl of Imofia went to Imbaino for shopping, but unfortunately she was killed. The people of Imofia got ready for blood struggle under the leadership of Okonko. Okonko came to Imbaino. The people of Mahino gave him cordial reception and handed over Ikimpuna as an escape god for avoiding a struggle. A girl was also handed over with Ikimpuna. The girl was sent as a wife to the man who had lost his wife. Okonko took the source of Ikimpuna. Norway is the elder son of Okonko. He is devoid of his father's heroic qualities. He is lazy and weak. So Okonko is very concerned for his son. Nawe and Ikmofona come closer to each other. Okonko is addressed father by Ikmofona. The people of Omofia follow a tradition named Peaceful Week. This peaceful week starts at the middle of harvesting and sowing seeds. Nobody shows chorus to make confusion in this time. But Okonko violates this rule by beating his wife. It is considered as a serious sin and crime. The people accuse Okonko. The villagers believe that Okonko has displaced the god of the earth, so they cannot hope good harvest. Now, Okonko is repentant for his crime, but he doesn't show it before the people. If anybody dies in this time, he is thrown to a evil forest. Ejinma is the daughter of Okonko. She has been ill from her bath time, but she is very clever and intelligent. Okonko likes her than his elder son, Nowe. Gradually, Nowe becomes a strong and handsome young man. Ikmufuna has played a vital role behind Nowe's changes. Ikmufuna has passed three years in the village. Omofia, 
so very soon he will have to return his native village Okonko orders Ikmofuna to get ready Nawe starts crying for this Okonko beats Nawe seriously Ikmofuna is very pleased now because he will meet his mother and sister after a long time on the other hand he is very disappointed thinking that he he will have to leave Nawe and his sweet memory of Imofia. Okonko and Ignofuna are now ready to make their journey. They are walking and cover some distance. Suddenly, Ignofuna sees a man coming towards him with weapons. Ignofuna becomes frightened and cries for help, addressing father. He calls Okonko for his safety, but Okonko kills him instead of saving him. Nawe has realized that Ikmufuna has been killed. Nawe feels tremendous pain and becomes oldless. Oldless. Okonko comes to house of Obirika. Obirika is his friend. He remains absent from the killing mission of Ikmofuna. Okonko wants to know the reason of his absence. Obirika replies that he did not want to do it, but it was the decision of Urakal said Okonko. Wabirika refuses the lame excuse of Okonko, but Okonko believes that he has done right because he has materialized the decision of the oracle. Ejinma is very ill now. Okonko and his wives believe that evil supernatural element influences her. Chelo, the first uh, fortune uh, teller, teller, comes to the house of Okonko to take a jinma. Agbela, the god has ordered her to take a jinma in a cave of hill. Chelo takes a jinma with her and flies to the hill. Okonko and his wife are very anxious now. Ejima's mother is crying now and following Chelo. Chelo enters the cave and comes out within few hours. Chelo further flies and comes to Okonko's house. She puts she puts Ejima on the bed and vanishes in the air. An unexpected event has taken place of the life of Okonko. A boy is killed by a bullet of Okonko's rifles at the time of dancing of his, that means the boy, for the funeral occasion. But Okonko has done this org unconsciously, not willingly. It is a great scene in the view of goddess. Nobody can kill his community member without any reason. So there is a way for Okonko to flee from his community. Okonko is exiled and he takes shelter in his maternal uncle's house. He is cordially received by his maternal uncle Usindu. In the meantime, Okonko's house has been destroyed. Okonko has taken shelter in Wasindur's house with three wives and eleven children. Okonko is given some lands to cultivate, but he does not feel the same strength as he enjoyed before coming his maternal uncle's house. Wasindu finds out finds out some mental disturb uh, disturbance. Of Okonko. 
we seem to console him, saying that a man considers his father's land as his own land when everything runs perfectly. But when crisis appears in his life, he returns his maternal uncle's house. Okenko is informed by Oberika that the missionaries, the white men are the followers of Christ, have established church in Omofia. Already many people of Omofia have ac uh, accept accepted their religion. Even Nawe has accepted their religion. The missionaries are pressing the principles of Christianity. Christianity. To them, a unique God has created this world and we are all the puppets of God's hand. They have refused the idea of multi goddess. The missionaries have become able to convince the people of Umofia that their belief of multi goddess is baseless and imaginative. Hearing this, Okunko becomes furious and scolds his son Nawe. The white men are very patient. They want a piece of land for establishing sars. The lords of Embaino have given them a piece of land in the evil forest. The evil forest is the house of evil souls. After the death of Contesiers, patients and the magician of ghosts are buried in the evil forest. The white men have cleaned some area for establishing stars. The people of Embaino think that they will die within four days, but their belief proves to be false. They further think that the white men have, have the supernatural power. They can see evil souls through their glass of eyes. Mr. Kiago is the bilingual of the white men. He influences the young man of the village. So their new disciples are increasing. Norway is now a faithful disciple of Christ. Now the people of Imbaino are eagerly waiting for seeing the catastrophe of the white men. They believe that the day after four weeks is very important and terrible. So the white men will die after 28 days. But books second time, their ideas prove to be false. Okonko threatens his son Nawe. But Nawe would like to return to Omofia because the white men have set up a school there and he wants to be a student of his of this school. Mr. Kiaga welcomes Nawe very cordially. Okunko is very upset. He wants to know he wants to destroy the sars and drive out white men. He thinks that Noe is his unfit son. He also blames his own god, Say, He is very anxious, thinking that his future generation will not follow their ancestors. They will forget their tradition and custom. They are following the god of white men. Now the white men are expanding their area and making different new policies. They are uh, getting uh, prepared to destroy the monuments of the god and goddess of the communities. Very soon the people realize that the white men will make a government besides pressing their religion. A court has been established in Omofia for saving the followers of Christ. Already a man has been sentenced to death because of killing a white man. 
the people of Imbaino do not welcome the twins, but the white men welcome the twins and slaves, even the criminals. Mr. Kiagwa says that a man cannot be slave in the view of God. All are equal in the view of God. But one of Kiaga's disciples says that he, that means Kiaga, should not welcome Osu. Kiaga wants to know the meaning of Osu. Osu refers a man who is sacrificed for the goddess. His future generation is considered as Osu. They cannot move like other villagers. They are forbidden to make relation with others. They are to bear forbidden sign on their chest. They are deprived of the title of the community. After their death, they are buried in the evil forest. Kiaga welcomes the Wasus. The Wasus cut their hair according to the command of Kiaga. Because of oil, oil coming them, some disciples of Kiaga leave the source, but Kiaga is determined to welcome them. As a result, all Wasus become disciples of Kiaga. It is believed that if an Osas here is cut, he will die. Kiaga informs the Osas that their belief is totally groundless. All are equal in the view of God. After cutting here, their belief proves to be false. A python snake is killed by an Oso. The villagers consider this snake as a symbol of secret God. So they become furious and decide that they will cut their relation with the white men and their new followers. But Okonko becomes very upset hearing their decision. He is broken hearted and mentally depressed. He wants to fight with the white men. Now the flowers of Christ cannot move freely and go to the market. They are being avoided by the villagers because of killing python snake. Already Okonko banishment is closed at hand. Okonko has dragged out his elder son. Noe has passed seven years in his maternal uncle's house. The duration of his from his house Many changes have, uh, have taken place in Omofia. The white men are very powerful there. They are majority in members, numbers. Uh, they have made government. They have also set up a court and a hospital. They have developed commercial activities. <coughs> Sorry. So Okonko has returned his father's land. Now he is determined to drive out the white men, but he has lost his leading power. Many remarkable persons have joined the white men's party. Okonko is now very shocked thinking about the foreign domination and broken condition of his community. The people of Omofia have lost their moral chorus. They have accepted the domination of the foreigner. A few days ago, James Smith has come to Amofia as a leader of white men instead of Mr. Brown. James Smith starts neglecting the compromising policy of Mr. Brown. He would like to differentiate between the black and white. So a conflict has taken place between the white men and the uh, people of Omofia. A church has been destroyed two days ago. So Konko is now very happy. The district commissioner comes to Omofia after three days of the destruction of church. The major leaders have been summoned by the district commissioner. 
the leaders comes to the commissioner office with with arms under the command of Okonko. The commissioner advises them to avoid class between clash between them and white men. He promises that white men will not make any harm for them. But if they have violated the rules of the court destroying the church, so they will have to give a large amount of money as a penalty. The hair of the leaders is cut. Their heads are now hairless. They have been forbidden to take food. Even they are not permitted to go to the forest and field for natural call. They are now prisoners. Okonko is now in a serious temper, but they have been threatened for giving penalty very soon. If they become failed to give penalty, they will be given death sentence. They are released after giving penalty. The white men tortured the leaders physically at the time of their imprisonment. Imprisonment. Now Okonko is determined to take revenge against the white men, but he confused that he will not get support from his people. Okonko arranges an assembly, but the white men forbid it. Okonko kills the water bearer within a moment. The district commissioner comes to Okonko's house with huge soldiers and arms. Okonko has already committed suicide. His dead body is hanging with the branch of a tree. Obedika requests the commissioner to cut the rope of the dead body. The people of Umufia cannot do it because it is opposite of their tradition. Only the strangers can trust this type of dead body, actually who commits suicide. Obedika is very shocked for unexpected death of his friend. He blames the white men to lead him, Okonko committing suicide. The commissioner commands his comrades to cut the rope. The comrades do it sincerely. The commissioner has spent many years in different parts of Africa for civilizing the people. So he has achieved many experiences. But his latest experience about the death of Okonko has touched his mind. Through reading this novel, we can know about the development of colonial domination in the different parts of Africa. Sino Akive has presented very nicely the social condition, social prejudices, uh, superstitions, and discrimination of caste, social class division, religious misinterpretation, racial characteristics myth and the conflict between old and new. The tragic death of Okonko pro uh, proves the fairy voice against the colonial domination, but his conservative outlook and illiteracy is the main obstacle of his leading. The people of Mufia and Imbaino are totally illiterate, ignorant, and blind believers. The white men gradually conquer Omofia and Embaino, taking the opportunities or opportunities of their illiteracy, blind belief, myth, racial conflict, religious superstition, and ignorance. An illiterate nation cannot enjoy their freedom. Strangers come to dominate an illiterate nation. Sinua Akebe has presented this truth through this book, Things Fall Apart. So my dear friends, that's all about today's topic for the timing. Thanks for patience sharing.